Good morning, Mr. Bishop. Good morning. My name's Dave and I'm a physical therapist assistant. And this is, this is Maurice, he's a physical therapy aide. He's gonna be helping me out today. Do you have anybody with you today? Hello. Uh, yeah, I have my wife hey, today. Okay, and what's your wife's name? Laramie, nice to meet you. We're gonna, you're gonna be really involved today, so don't go anywhere, okay? okay. There's a lot of things that you have to pay attention to. Right. I'm gonna go wash my hands and put some gloves on, and we're gonna get started, all right? Okay. So, Mr. Bishop, Talk to me about how you've been doing. What what has been better since last time we saw you, which was yesterday? Anything better? Pain's a little bit better? All right, well, that's good news. All right, anything that's been more troublesome since last time? Okay, so let's talk about your pain. On a scale of zero to 10, zero being no pain, 10 being the worst pain you ever felt, how would you rate your pain right now? A two, and where's that located? Oh, that's right here in my leg. Okay. Can you tell me your full name? Yeah, I'm gonna get this foot okay. And where are you at right now? Okay, and what's today's date? Can you tell me the Can you tell me the year? Yeah, 2019. Okay, what month is it? Okay. All right. And why are you here? Uh, because I got an amputation. Okay. All right. We're going to take your vital signs. All right. So I'm going to need your arm. Let me put this down so it's not in my way. And I'm going to bring the bed up, okay? All right. Let's make it a little easier on me. All right. Because I'm old. <laughs> Stick this thing on the end of your finger. I think I am. <laughs> All right, this is going to tighten up a little bit. It's just taking your blood pressure. Okay. Is it okay if I take your sheet down? Yeah, All right. Just make sure that we're covered up here. Okay, well, while we're taking these vitals, I want to talk to you about positioning of your limb right here. Because I see you got some pillows up there, and it's kind of turned toward the outside. Right. And I'm, I'm sure that's probably comfortable, mm -hmm. but it's not the best thing for you to be doing right now. Okay, because what's going to happen is when your leg's like this and this, mm -hmm. those muscles are going to get shorter. And then you're not going to be able to straighten your leg out. And you need to be able to straighten your leg out so you can properly use a prosthesis. And that's one of our goals is we want to get you into prosthesis, right? Right. Okay, so in going forward, what I want you to do is anytime you're positioned, I want you to keep that leg flat, okay. okay? And then I want you to keep it inside and in line with your body. So not out here, so in here. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, so your, your blood pressure's good. It's 112 over 62, which is normal. All right. Your heart rate's 99, that's within normal range, and your oxygen is 99%, which is good, okay? Right. So everything looks good there. Um, have you been checking that off, baby? I'm gonna take that off of you. Take this off, and I'm gonna just shut this off so we shouldn't need it until later. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna do is we're gonna, we're gonna wrap your, your limb. Okay, um, and and we're gonna do it with this compression bandage. And where's where's your wife at? Oh, there she is. Laramie, you're gonna have to help him do this. He's gonna be able to do this by himself. Okay, and here's why this is important. All right, we want to put this wrap on so it provides some compression and it keeps fluid from building up in your leg. Because if fluid builds up in your leg, it's gonna cause the healing to be a lot slower, and we don't want that. We want it to heal up quick and good. Right. The other thing is, is we want to shrink that leg down so that's going to fit properly into a prosthesis and it's not going back and forth, okay? okay. 
All right, so let me get a one second here. I got to get some props. We're going to say this is like your leg. <laughs> okay. So, Laramie and Mr. Bishop, mm -hmm. the first thing we want to do is we want to, we want to take one wrap around the waist. Okay, this is going to help keep it from slipping down. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to help. So, you're going to come underneath with this roll just like this. And there's a little bit of Velcro here, so what you can do is just kind of hold it there where you bring the roll over. Yeah, thank you. All right. Now, the one thing you want to do as you're going through and you're wrapping this is anytime you have some wrinkles, is go ahead and smooth them out. We don't want any wrinkles in here, okay, because that's going to cause extra pressure and then it can cause some sores to happen as well. So we don't want to do that. So then once we get it around the waist, we're going to come around underneath and then between the legs here like this. Now what's important here is we want to keep this bandage up as close to the groin as possible because if we don't, what can happen if it's down here is you're going to get a little lump of flesh that comes out and that's not what we want, okay? So we need to be snug up to the groin right here, all right? Now when we turn the bandage around, we want to do angular turns, not straight circular turns. Straight circular turns can make it a tourniquet effect and cut off your circulation. We want nice, even pressure. So we're going to do some angular turns. So we angle this way and we come back. Being mindful of wrinkles. We're going to come back this way. See how we've got two angles going? Taking some wrinkles out. So now what's going to happen is one of these rolls is not going to cover everything, okay? okay. And that's okay. Because you know what? We can use a second one. All right. All right. So the second one, we want to make sure that we're going to cover the end of here with at least two layers, mm -hmm. all right, and cover everything here with two layers, okay? And I would recommend starting right about here, all right, not way up here because that's going to leave you less to work with, but right about here. Okay. I'm going to let you try. All right, and then we're still doing angular turns. Right. Still watching out for wrinkles. Oops, I did the roll. <laughs> uh, okay, the other thing I'll tell you, and I didn't do it this time, is you probably want to keep the roll the other way because it makes it a heck of a lot easier than what I'm doing here. So you flip it so you're rolling out instead of under like I am. Don't do what I'm doing for that part anyway. Okay. All right, the other thing you really watch out for is on these edges, sometimes you might get a little dog ear, so make sure you're pulling it tight enough to keep that from happening. Just about there. All right, so we're going to do a few stretches and then we'll get into some exercises and we'll do the end of the work over there, okay? All right, and then it's got a little bit of Velcro here at the end so that you can attach it. All right, and then just double check and make sure you don't have any wrinkles, okay? All right, any questions about that, Laramie? Are you good with it? It's going to take you a little bit of practice. Now, you should change this every four to six hours or any time it gets loose. And that could, that could happen. That's normal. It does happen. But we don't want to leave it off. We want to get it back on because we want to make sure we're doing what? Keeping pressure on it. Why? The fluid out and what else? 
Okay. Shrink the limb down. Okay, good. Good so job. The first stretch we're going to do is a stretch. I'm going to put your leg over here. Can I get my clipboard? Oh, thanks. All right, I'm going to flatten the bed out if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oops, that's not flattening the bed out. Is there a... I'll let you know when to switch. There we go. That's better, huh? Yep, that's good. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to take these pillows out. Okay. All right. They're still not flat. All right. What I want to do now is I want to get a measurement, all right, to see how we're doing with your, with the muscle shortness that we've got going on here, okay? So I'm going to come around this side. All right, so now what I'm going to want you to do, mm -hmm. Mr. Bishop, is I want you to push your leg towards the bed as hard as you can, okay, to try to straighten it out as much as you can. All right, go ahead and push. Push, 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 push. Come on, push. All right, that's not too bad. That's nine degrees. Nine degrees extension, or net, minus nine degrees extension. Okay, so now I want your right leg mm -hmm. right here. No, no, just leave it flat. Just out this way a little ways. Okay. All right, and then what I want you to do, I'm just touching to find a landmark, okay? If I can find it. Okay, so what you're going to do is I want you to move your leg this way as far as you can, all right? Make sure I've got this right here. All right, go ahead and go. Come on, come on. Move it in as far as you can. Go, 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 go. All right, good. All right, that's zero degrees. Oops. That wasn't all. That's zero degrees adduction. Okay, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. All right. So now we're going to do what's called a log roll. We're just going to, you're going to turn on your right side. So scoot yourself over there a little bit. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Good. Okay, now put this hand across here. Oops, sorry. Let's maintain some modesty. All right, and then I want you to bring this hand across here. All right? And on the count of three, I want you to roll towards me, and I want you doing the work. All right? I'm going to be here to help if I need to, but I want you doing work. Okay. All right? Yep. So one two three roll all right good all right you can you can bend that right leg a little bit to kind of keep you stable okay. all right we're going to do a little bit of strength testing here okay all right the first thing i want to do is is i want you to move your leg back as far as you can like this okay all right now what's going to happen is i'm going to simulate gravity all right so i want you to move it back and i'm going to simulate gravity go ahead move it move it Okay. All right, move it back one more time. All right, now I want you to hold it there. Hold it and don't let me pull it forward. Minimum resistance, moderate resistance. Okay, good. You can relax. He's a three plus on um, hip extension. Okay, next thing I want you to do is you're going to put your leg up towards the ceiling. So. <laughs> like hold the sheet up like that <laughs> just yeah just hold that up so that we're not exposing to the hallway okay all right okay so so i want you to lift your leg up just like this okay go ahead and do that all right now hold it there hold it up there and don't let me push it down minimum resistance moderate resistance okay good you can relax three plus on hip abduction 
Okay. So while we're here, we're going to do um, some exercises. And these aren't your home exercise program. So I got a copy here for you so you can kind of look at this as we're doing them. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is this one right here since we're in sideline. Okay. All right. And that's going to stretch these tight muscles here right. from you having your leg cocked out. Okay. okay. And this, when you're not here, you're going to do this two to three times a day for 20 to 30 seconds each time or two to three times for 20, 30 seconds. Do that each day. Okay. okay. So what I want you to do is you're going to move this leg back, keep this one forward, move this back. And then I just want you to let gravity, let it hang for 20 seconds, okay. starting now. Okay. Keep going with that. Okay. Can you feel it stretching right here? Yeah, Should feel a little bit tight. Yeah. Good, okay, so that's 12, and we're gonna do two sets of those. Yeah. Okay, relax, you can bring it back up here and relax. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Back and let it hang. You feeling the stretch? All right, just make sure you don't roll your trunk back or forward. You want to keep your trunk straight up and down like this. Okay. Flip to your side, and we're going to do the exercise where you bring your leg up to the ceiling when you're on your side, okay? Okay. What side are you on? We're going to Relax. do both sides, so I'm going to let you pick whichever one you want to do first. Okay. You want to go to that side first? Now that's important because we need to get that flexibility back so we can use a prosthesis, right? So that's important that you're doing that every day. All right, the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna work on a little bit of strengthening because when you have a prosthesis, it takes a lot more energy than walking with your other leg. Okay, it's gonna take more energy. So we need to get strength in those muscles up so that you'll be able to walk properly. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, is you're gonna lift your leg up like this. Can you sheet please? Sorry, camera person. Okay. All right, so you're going to lift your leg up mm -hmm. and then lower it down. And I want you to do that 10 times, and we're going to do that twice. Okay. Okay, you can relax. All right, you can do 10 more. You good? All right, relax. Now this is on your home exercise program. And the other thing you can do, if you wanna make it a little more challenging, if that becomes too easy, and I'm gonna send, I'm gonna leave one of them with you, is you can put a resistance band around there, and that's gonna add some resistance and make it a little harder. For right now, I think we'll stay without the band, but then, so you're gonna do that, um, 10 to 12 repetitions, two to three times every day. Okay? okay? All right. Now we're gonna roll onto your back. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. All right, good. Now we're gonna do a couple of stretches here. The first one is we wanna stretch the muscles in front here that are getting shortened from you propping your leg up, okay? So what you're gonna do, and you, can you get the sheet please? So we're gonna expose them again. Um, is you're gonna pull this knee up to your chest with your hands. So you put your hands behind your knee, you're gonna pull it up there, and then you're gonna let this hang towards the bed. And you should feel some tightness here in the front of your leg.